in computing, DDR4SDRAM, an abbreviation for Double Data Rate Fourth Generation Synchronous Dynamic Random Access Memory, is a type of synchronous dynamic random access memory with a high bandwidth interface, expected to be released to the market sometime in 2014. It is one of the latest variants of dynamic random access memory, some of which have been in use since the early 1970s, and a proposed higher speed successor to the DDR2 and DDR3 technologies. It is not compatible with any earlier type of random access memory due to different signaling voltages, physical interface and other factors. It was released to the public market in Q2 2014 with a focus on ECC memory, and an anticipated launch for non-ECC modules in Q3 2014. Benefits The primary advantages of DDR4 as opposed to its predecessor, DDR3, include higher module density and lower voltage requirements, coupled with higher data rate transfer speeds. DDR4 operates at a voltage of 1.2V with transfer rates of between 1600 and 3200 Mbps, compared to data rates of between 821 33 Mbps and voltage requirement of 1.5 or 1.65V of DDR3. Although a low voltage standard has yet to be finalized, it is anticipated that low voltage DDR4 will run at a voltage of 1.05V compared to DDR3's low voltage standard which requires 1.35V to operate. DDR4 modules can also be manufactured at twice the density of DDR3. Development and Market History Standards Body JDEC began working on a successor to DDR3 around 2005, about two years before the launch of DDR3 in 2007. The high-level architecture of DDR4 was planned for completion in 2008. Some advance information was published in 2007, and a guest speaker from Kmanda provided further public details in a presentation at the August 2008 San Francisco Intel Developer Forum. DDR4 was described as involving a 30nm process at 1.2 volts with bus frequencies of 2133 LMTS regular speed and 3200 MTS enthusiast speed, and reaching markets in 2012, before transitioning to 1 volt in 2013. Subsequently, further details were revealed at MEMCON 2010, Tokyo, at which a presentation by a JDEC director titled Time to Rethink DDR4 with a slide titled New Roadmap. More realistic roadmap as 2015 led some websites to report that the introduction of DDR4 was probably or definitely delayed until 2015. However, DDR4 test samples were announced in line with the original schedule in early 2011 at which time manufacturers began to advise that large-scale commercial production and release to market was scheduled for 2012. DDR4 was expected to represent 5% of the DRAM market in 2013 and to reach mass market adoption and 50% market penetration around 2015. As of 2013, however, adoption of DDR4 has been delayed and it is no longer expected to reach a majority of the market until 2016 or later. The transition from DDR3 to DDR4 is thus taking longer than the approximately five years taken for DDR3 to achieve mass market transition over DDR2. In part, this is because changes required to other components would affect all other parts of computer systems, which would need to be updated to work with DDR4. In February 2009, Samsung validated 40 NM DRAM chips, considered a significant step towards DDR4 development since in 2009, DRAM chips were only beginning to migrate to a 50 NM process. In January 2011, Samsung announced the completion and release for testing of a 2GB DDR4 DRAM module based on a process between 30 and 39 nanometers. It has a maximum data transfer rate of 2133 MTS at 1.2 AV, uses pseudo open drain technology and draws 40% less power than an equivalent DDR3 module. Three months later in April 2011, Hynix announced the production of two AGB DDR4 modules at 2400 MTS, also running at 1.2 AB on a process between 30 and 39 nm, adding that it anticipated commencing high-volume production in the second half of 2012. 
Semiconductor processes for DDR4 are expected to transition to sub-30 nm at some point between late 2012 and 2014. In May 2012, Micron announced it is aiming at starting production in late 2012 of 30 nm modules. In July 2012, Samsung Electronics Company, Ltd., announced that it has begun sampling the industry's first 16 GB register dual inline memory modules using DDR4 SDRAM for enterprise server systems. In September 2012, JDEC released the final specification of DDR4. In April 2014, Hynix announced that it has developed the world Euro unregistered trademark S first highest density of 128 GB module based on 8 GB DDR4 using 20 NM class technology. The module works at 2133 Mbit S, with a 64 bit IO it processes up to 17 GB of data per second. Hynix expects DDR4 SDRAM to be commercialized by 2015, and make it a standard by 2016. Market perception and prospects. In April 2013, a news writer at International Data Group, a Euro and American technology research business originally part of IDC, a Euro produced an analysis of their perceptions related to DDR4 SDRAM. The conclusions were that the increasing popularity of mobile computing and other devices using slower but low powered memory, the slowing of growth in the traditional desktop computing sector, and the consolidation of the memory manufacturing marketplace, meant that margins on RAM were tight. As a result they looked for premium pricing used for initial profitability when introducing new technology to the marketplace, was harder to achieve, and capacity had shifted to other sectors. SDRAM manufacturers and chipset creators were, to an extent, stuck between a rock and a hard place, where, according to iSupply, Nobody wants to pay a premium for DDR4 products, and manufacturers don't want to make the memory if they are not going to get a premium. A switch in market sentiment towards desktop computing and release of chipsets having DDR4 support by Intel and AMD could therefore potentially lead to aggressive growth. Implementations AMD will begin supporting DDR4 with the Hero Falcon SoC in 2014. Similarly, Intel's 2014 Horswell E roadmap revealed the company's first use of DDR4 SDRAM in Horswell E CPU. Technical description The new chips will use a 1.2 AV supply with a 2.5 AV auxiliary supply for wordline boost called VPP versus the standard 1.5 AV of DDR3 chips, with lower voltage variants at 1.05 AV appearing in 2013. DDR4 is expected to be introduced at transfer rates of 2133 LMTS, estimated to rise to a potential 4266 LMTS by 2013. The minimum transfer rate of 2133 LMTS was said to be due to progress made in DDR3 speeds which, being likely to reach 2133 LMTS, left little commercial benefit to specifying DDR4 below the speed. TechEdge interpreted Samsung's January 2011 engineering sample as having CAS latency of 13 clock cycles, described as being comparable to the move from DDR2 to DDR3. Internal banks are increased to 16, with up to 8 ranks per DIMM. Protocol changes include, parity on the command address bus, data bus inversion, CRC on the data bus, independent programming of individual DRAMs on a DIMM, to allow better control of on die termination. Increased memory density is anticipated, possibly using TSV or other 3D stacking processes. The DDR4 specification will include standardized 3D stacking from the start according to JDEC, with provision for up to 8 stack dies. Xbit Labs predicted that as a result DDR4 memory chips with very high density will become relatively inexpensive. Prefetch remains at 8N with bank groups, including the use of two or four selectable bank groups. Switched memory banks are also an anticipated option for servers. In 2008, concerns were raised in the book way for level 3 DICs process technology that non-scaling analog elements such as charge pumps and voltage regulators, and additional circuitry have allowed significant increases in bandwidth but they consume much more die area. Examples include CRC error detection, on-die termination, 
burst hardware, programmable pipelines, low impedance, and increasing need for sense amps. The authors noted that as a result, the amount of dye used for the memory array itself has declined over time from 70 a euro 78% with SDRAM and EDR1, to 47% for DDR2, to 38% for DDR3 and potentially to less than 30% for DDR4. The specification defined standards for X4, X8, X16 memory devices with capacities of 2, 4, 8, 16 GIB. Command encoding, although it still operates in fundamentally the same way, DDR4 makes one major change to the command formats used by previous SDRAM generations. A new command signal slash ACT is low to indicate the activate command. The activate command requires more address bits than any other, so the standard slash RAS, slash CAS and slash WE signals are shared with high order address bits that are not used when slash ACT is high. The combination of slash RAS equals L, slash CAS equals H and slash WE equals H that previously encoded an activate command is unused. As in previous SDRAM encodings, A10 is used to select command variants, auto precharge on read and write commands, and one bank versus all banks for the precharge command. It also selects two variants of the ZQ calibration command. In addition, A12 is used to request burst chop, truncation of innate transfer burst after four transfers. Although the bank is still busy and unavailable for other commands until eight transfer times have elapsed, a different bank can be accessed. Also, the number of bank addresses has been increased greatly. There are four bank select bits to select up to 16 banks within each DRAM, two bank address bits, and two bank group bits. There are additional timing restrictions when accessing banks within the same bank group. It is faster to access a bank in a different bank group. In addition, there are three chip select signals, allowing up to eight stack chips to be placed inside a single DRAM package. These effectively act as three more bank select bits, bringing the total to seven. Note, X bits are don't care, but must be at a valid voltage level either zero or one. Standard transfer rates are 1600, 1866, 2133 and 2400 MTS. 2666 and 3200 MTS are provided for, but the specifications are not yet complete. Design considerations, some key points for IC and PCB design were identified by the DDR4 team at Micron Technology, IC design, VREF DQ calibration. New addressing schemes. New power saving features. Circuit board design, new power supplies. VREF DQ must be supplied internal to the DRAM while VOF CA is supplied externally from the board. DQ pins terminate high using pseudo open drain I.O. Module packaging, DDR4 memory comes in 288 pin DIMM modules, similar in size to 240 pin DDR3 DIMMs. The pins are spaced more closely to fit the increased amount within the same 5 or 1 quarter inch standard DIMM length but, the height is increased slightly to make signal routing easier, and the thickness is also increased to accommodate more signal layers. DDR4 SODIMMs have 260 pins, which are also spaced closer, and are 1.0 m wider, but remain the same 30 m in height. References See also, Synchronous Dynamic Random Access Memory A Euro Main Article for DDR Memory Types, List of Device Bandwidths SDRAM Latency, JDEC Page, Main Memory, DDR3 and DDR4 SDRAM, DDR4 SDRAM Standard.